today we are going to be removing the sealant and chipping paint from the bus roof. I got this at the local Home Depot. It was the only one available. It may have been returned by someone. It does come with a pad. I guess you just pop this on. Squeeze red button on both sides of handle base to unlock. Wear safety glasses and gloves. I've got my pink safety glasses and my gardening gloves. Okay, tighten by hand. So this is the locking mechanism. They recommend wearing a respirator. I'm just gonna go with this mask that I have. It is an N95. I kind of wish that there were different speeds to this because it feels really aggressive and a little bit hard to handle. However, it does a nice job. Look at, I mean, that is so smooth. It might look really rough. Not sure how this is gonna come across on film. And look at that, it looks like this was blue, which I actually want to put some blue on this bus again when we're done, but that is really exciting. Honestly, that looks so nice. It looks like someone who cares is coming along to help and that is, that's me. In some of these places where I've removed the sealant, it looks like this on the top, but then as soon as I remove it, you can see that there's a little bit of rust starting to form. And that's what I'm looking for. I really want to find the areas that are in trouble that might not even look like they are. I mean, I don't know if anyone else would consider that to be in trouble, but I do. I don't want that to be happening. I've decided that I'm going to try and sweep off all of the dust that is accumulating. I mean, look at that. Oof. Just look at all that. Oh my goodness. I cleaned up the seam with a hammer and a screwdriver. Here is what happens after I've chipped away at the seam and used the paint eater. And then here, you can see I haven't hit it with the paint eater yet. Look at that, that looks so clean and so nice. I mean, I don't wanna say professional, but it's definitely getting way better. So this is where I am now on my seam cleaning. I love how easy it is to carry this telescoping ladder. Very beautiful. I love you. I am almost done with this seam. This has gone much smoother than the last one, which went much smoother than the first one. So there is hope. I need to change out the pad on my paint eater. I have one spare pad for this, so I'll switch that out. I'll work on the seams on this curved edge and then on the far side. I'm using this ladder today, so I'm like right here. Here's a good distance for me and I can actually like use that and apply pressure here. And that's what I want. I want to have a stable platform to stand on so I can feel comfortable leaning in on this. I haven't started with this seam up here. You can see that's kind of a mess but um, it's a whole nother animal working on the top of the sides than it is on the roof itself. I also need to measure those covers today because we need to order replacements and get accurate pricing for what that's gonna look like. So that's kind of on the docket for today as well. When you pressure wash the bus and it looks all nice and shiny, you don't really get an accurate view of what the details are. Look at that. I mean, you can see here that the bus used to be blue and all of that crap is still there. I don't want to try and seal over this. From far away, it looks really nice, but when you get close up you see that there's work to be done
Okay, and I just realized this front portion is fiberglass. So I'm gonna have to be way more careful with this seam than I was thinking. The good news is I'm better using this tool than I was on day one. Uh, yeah. So you can see that even though my line is pretty clean, I'm digging into that fiberglass, like right there. I do not want to do that. This is my fifth seam on this side. I have three more. I haven't done any work on the other side yet, so we'll see. This reminds me of the time we used the, the, the compactor. Remember when we used that, that jackrabbit? And I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> That's what this is like. It feels like it's like, Wah! and so when you're on a ladder, I'm like, this is dangerous, man. I'm going to try to run the wires over the bus so it leans. Eh, it's okay. Just gotta be careful. Let's see. Oof. Yeah, the higher you go up on a leaning ladder, the more you can feel the lean. Wow, that looks dirty. Oh, it's kind of nice. I have a little bit of a stalk to hold on to. And there are some areas where there's just obviously chipping paint, like right there. So this back part is fiberglass. I'll be very careful. I've switched it around again. This is probably the best way. So, this. It is time now to take out this cover. That's our opening. I have almost all of the seams on this side of the bus to do. I was only able to get two of them done yesterday. And then I need to climb up on the top and get the remaining four seams that go across the top. I purchased this paint eater tool specifically for this project. I have two orbital sanders. This one's DeWalt, this is a Black & Decker. And then I have a grinder that's a Ryobi grinder. Any other tool that you buy, you can expect to have a couple of feet at least of a cord, but nope, not this paint eater. Can you use these other tools? Sure, they have attachments that you can use to get those seams clean and to remove paint from metal, but I wanted a specific tool for this. I am not sorry at all that I bought this. The handle here is so handy because it's adjustable. I can use a glove. My garden gloves are kind of ridiculous in terms of not being fitted to my hands, but I like them. These are, these are my work gloves. These are my mom's work gloves. And so, yeah, they're just kind of, it's weird to have a sentimental attachment to work gloves, but I do, there you have it. So I like that I can keep those on and easily slide my hand in. I have been using it where my left hand went into the strap and then I wielded it with the right hand. But yeah, it looks like actually it's, it's a little bit better off if I use it on this side. It's hard to control and that really is the challenge, but that's the challenge with any of these tools. They're power tools, so they're powerful and you have to kind of be on your game if you wanna be using them. I don't know, I just think this is a great tool. I really wish that that cord was longer and I totally understand why people would opt to use a tool that they have rather than buying something that's totally new. I have not tried this with any other type of pad. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm guessing this is a one trick pony since it says paint eater right on it. Uh, I think it only comes with just that one pad option. But if you're like me and you bought an old bus and you know that it's been painted many, many times, there's peeling paint and yeah, I mean, this, this needs to be cleaned. I wanna do it right. You can see on that hinge there, it's obvious that the bus was originally not this color. And so I got my work cut out for me and I really wanted the right tool for this. Seeing one on sale at Home Depot sold me on it, but I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that I came across it. At this point, I would definitely recommend it to other people, but again, I understand working in a budget, you might just wanna use something that you've already got. The handle on this paint eater folds up nicely into the tool, whereas the handle that comes with my grinder, it actually physically comes off. You can't just fold it up. It doesn't look as robust, but I don't feel like the handle is less sturdy in any way. It's worked well for me. Then you can see in terms of the height, this one you can stick your hand in and hold it on the side. 
this is primarily meant to fit in your palm. It's like a palm sander. So just kind of different, just some things that are different about it. This does not have any kind of mechanism for capturing the dust that's coming out. So you really do need to have safety glasses and a mask when you're using that paint eater tool. It's just something to note if that's important to you, you might want to go with a sander instead. The grinder is going to have kind of a similar effect where you're watching the sparks come off, you're watching the material come off, and so you need to kind of protect yourself from what's flying in your face. It is day six of working on the bus and you can tell rain is coming. <laughs> 